In the early 1960s, the pharmaceutical company behind the drug thalidomide tried to convince Dr. Francis Kelsey, a scientist from the Food and Drugs Administration, to approve their drug. A stubborn stickler of a medical officer in the Food and Drug Administration, Dr. Francis Kelsey, she refused to approve sale of the drug in the United States. Thalidomide was eventually blamed for causing birth defects in tens of thousands of children around the world, with many more dying at birth. Thanks to the diligence of Dr. Kelsey and the FDA, children in the US were spared. The FDA has a tough job. It needs to ensure that drugs are safe. The decision it makes are life-altering, in most cases for the best. But not always. FDA failures have been blamed for contributing to the opioid epidemic. Oh, she's overdosed. And giving false hope to Alzheimer's patients by approving a costly and unproven drug. This is in fact a tremendous controversy in the scientific and medical world. Unlike the time when Dr. Kelsey worked at the FDA, the federal agency is now much cosier with the industry it is supposed to regulate. Pharmaceutical companies with lots of money and questionable practices. From lobbying. Drug companies and the insurance companies have spent four and a half billion dollars on lobbying and campaign contributions. To advertising. Ask your doctor if Mirbetric is right for you. And price gouging. Everybody is doing it. it. In capitalism, you try to get the highest price for that you can for a product. Today, the FDA's mission is more critical than ever. We're still not completely 100% sold on the inoculation. Wake up, New York! So why is the FDA making these costly mistakes, endangering public trust? We will not comply! This is how the FDA needs to do a better job at protecting Americans from the greed of some pharmaceutical companies.